Just before Hell in a Cell, it is a massive tag team main event as the WWE Champion Seth Freakin' Rollins alongside Solo Sokoa take on Kevin Owens and a returning Sami Zayn who's hell-bent on retribution after an ambush by Solo Sokoa several weeks ago. We are live from the Ford Center, Evansville, Indiana, six nights before Armageddon, and of course the Hell in a Cell matchup for the WWE Championship. And what better way to kick things off than with a collision between two superstars who will compete inside Hell in a Cell this Sunday night at Armageddon. The following is scheduled for one fall, making his way to the ring. Representing the Brawling Brutes from Dublin, Ireland. Weighing in at 267 pounds, the Celtic Warrior, Sheamus. It is the most demonic structure known to mankind. And this Sunday night in Detroit, six WWE superstars step inside hell in a cell for one WWE Championship. Rollins defends the gold against five hungry challengers. Chaos and disorder have been the words to describe Monday Night Raw for weeks on end, but it all comes to a head this Sunday night, live at 5 p.m. Eastern Time, Little Caesars Arena, Detroit, Michigan, for the final live premiere event of 2023, Armageddon. And we kick things off tonight in Evansville, Indiana, with a fight between two superstars who have certainly ran their course on a few occasions, but tonight, set to write another chapter. Sheamus, carrying cross. These two men have had meeting on meeting, and of course, last month at Survivor Series, it was Team Cross versus Team Sheamus. Inevitably, Team Sheamus getting the victory thanks to Kevin Owens' 3-1 comeback in that traditional matchup. Remember, carrying cross and Sheamus, the last time these two men went one-on-one -on -one here on Monday Night Raw. Going back to September in the season premiere edition right here on the red brand, Sheamus defeating Cross in his final match in a gauntlet that night, a loss that Karrion Cross has been embarrassed with ever since. Cross owns a victory against Sheamus dating back to earlier this spring this year. This is seemingly one of those issues that's been looming for a long time between the Harbinger of Doom and the Celtic Warrior that is yet to see a conclusion. But tonight isn't necessarily about a said conclusion but it's about massive momentum on the line towards the WWE Championship match this Sunday. Karrion Cross, the man who has chased the WWE title throughout this year, challenged for it numerous times throughout the summer. Unfortunately, it slipped through his fingers, but this Sunday night, Karrion Cross may be the most dangerous and destructive man to step foot inside Hell in a Cell. All remains to be seen what is gonna happen this Sunday in Detroit. But tonight, a sold out Ford Center, Evansville, Indiana, Monday Night Raw, with a massive tag team main event on hand featuring Seth freaking Rollins and the street champ, Solo Sokoa, taking on Sami Zayn and Kevin Owens. What a matchup that's gonna be right here tonight on Monday Night Raw. Let's kick things off tonight, Kerry and Cross, Sheamus, these two men set to lock horns. It's like letting two bulls free from their cages, set to run full head of steam at each other. The bell has sounded, we are underway. Cross, Sheamus, momentum towards Hell in the Cell at Armageddon is on the line. Sheamus is a man who has had a couple of opportunities with the WWE Championship this year as well. And a brutal rivalry with Seth freaking Rollins. So a great matchup back at Unforgiven in September and a vicious last man standing bout. I clashed at the castle in October. Unfortunately, a lot of the frustration and anger that was oozing out of the Celtic Warrior on those occasions may have been his downfall. Seth Rollins retained the WWE Championship, of course. Now this Sunday, Sheamus is gonna get another crack at Seth Rollins alongside several other superstars locked inside the confines of Hell in a Cell. This is gonna be a chaotic night it's really, as we mentioned, describes what Monday Night Raw has been about week in and week out for months. Just a couple of weeks ago, I mean, a massive brawl that sent us off the air between Sheamus and Cross, Champa, Owen, Solo. All your challengers for the WWE title blowing off some steam. And this weekend, a chance for them to put the final nail in the coffin, if you will. All remains to be seen is carrying Cross. Trying to knock Sheamus out. Sheamus trying to get the comeback here. And there's Karrion Cross. Again, these two men know each other 
very well. Several occasions, one on one throughout this year. For the Celtic Warrior and the Harbinger of Doom. And Cross has got to be feeling some type of way after his team fell to Sheamus's team, although. Remember, Cross had an impressive showing in that matchup outside of Kevin Owens, of course. Cross eliminated all of the brawling brutes back at Survivor Series. Tapped out Butch and Ridge Holland, the current World Tag Team Champions, pinned Sheamus' shoulders to the canvas, ultimately fell in defeat thanks to Kevin Owens. And this brawl continues on the outside of the ring. You remember Kevin Owens one-on-one uh, -on -one with Karrion Cross two weeks ago on Raw. Cross trying to settle that score. Solo Sokoa hit the ring. Matchup ended in, once again, chaos and anarchy. Back inside the ring and Karrion Cross inflicting some punishment on the Celtic Warrior. You know, speaking of the brawling brutes, Sheamus' running buddies, Butch and Ridge Holland, of course, this Sunday at Armageddon, and those two men have got their hands full in a long storied rivalry with Damian Priest and Finn Balor of the Judgment Day. It's gonna be a tornado tag team matchup. All four men legal to be in the ring or outside of it at one time. No count outs, pinfall or submission only to get the victory. World Tag Team Championships at stake. Just one of the high profile matches coming your way live this Sunday night. Karrion Cross has really got Sheamus' back up against the wall, but maybe we spoke too soon. Sheamus could be going for a little White noise in the middle of Evansville. Into the cover and oh, wait a minute here. Scarlett distracting the referee, taking the eye off the ball, allowing Sheamus to not get the three count. Well, here we go. There's the pinfall here, and Cross had time to recuperate. And Wicked Witch Scarlett at ringside, known to have her man Cross's back on many of occasions, has helped him secure victories over Lights of John Cena and Bobby Lashley this year throughout Monday Night Raw. Unfortunately for Karrion Cross, Scarlett is not going to be in the equation this Sunday night. Hell in a Cell will surround the ring, and the only men that are going to enter are the six superstars and one referee to count the pinfall. Meanwhile, Sheamus, not interested in Scarlett's affairs, nice shoulder breaker, delivered with emphatic force, but the Harbinger of Doom still in this matchup. Mention these two men's road to the WWE Championship. They have challenged throughout that throughout 2023 for that title. Cross on two occasions, Sheamus on two occasions. Will the third time be a charm? Sunday night in Detroit. Cross looking to flip the switch on this matchup. High knee on the Celtic Warrior. Meanwhile, Scarlett's trying to intervene. Sheamus just trying to scout his next move. Oh, wait a minute, man! Fell right into the trap of the Harbinger of Doom. Scarlett's body out there getting in the way, and Sheamus sent for a ride. And now sent into the barricade, not by will, but by force of Cross. And now what? Oh, and a mean boot to the side of the skull. Momentum rides on the line, as it will later tonight in your main event, when three of the superstars involved in tonight's main event will be competing on Sunday. Seth Rollins, the WWE Champion, Solo Sokoa, Kevin Owens and then Sami Zayn, the X Factor in tonight's main event. Meanwhile, that could be all she wrote for your opening matchup. Oh, and Sheamus reaching out, grabbing the ropes. Great wing, ring awareness by the veteran that time. Doomsday Saido, unfortunately not enough. Cross has used that maneuver to de defeat many of superstars. In recent memory, it's actually the maneuver that pins Sheamus back at Survivor Series. However, Sheamus finding himself in a very fortunate situation moments ago. Well, Karrion Cross is going to keep swinging. Rights, lefts, fits, forearms, chops to the chest of Sheamus. He's trying to wear down this Celtic warrior in this cold fight night in Evansville. Oh, wait a minute. Backbreaker making a dose. Going for the hat trick. That's a way to come back. Break the back of your opponent. And just like that, Sheamus turning this matchup on its head. Or maybe not so fast, carrying Cross with the counter. Sheamus now, the one delivering the live rounds. We have got ourselves a fight in the opening matchup tonight. Neither one of these men looking to see defeat on the road to Armageddon this Sunday. Eight championship matches signed for this Sunday's festivities. What a night it's gonna be! And a bro kick by Sheamus! 
Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Scarlet on the apron now. Mouth it off. Yell it at Sheamus. Sheamus is gonna get his head in the game and not allow this wicked witch to take his eye off the ball. Oh, that might have just cost him that time. The bro kick easily could have been the victor for Sheamus in this matchup. However, carrying cross benefiting from that distraction. Maybe not so fast. Sheamus gonna keep his foot on the gas pedal. There's a reversal by the Harbinger of Doom. And we have got ourselves a barn burner in this sold out Ford Center tonight. Everybody waiting in anticipation to see who is gonna ride that momentum into Armageddon on Sunday. Now Cross trying to come back into this matchup. Obviously not 100%. I'm sure a little bit dazed and confused after being broke kicked by all hell by the Celtic Warrior moments ago. However, Karrion Cross gonna keep fighting. Very dangerous, cold individual inside of that ring. Karrion Cross, a man who has only seen so many defeats throughout his career, more often than not has found himself in the win column, will tonight tell the same story. Sheamus just rolling to the outside, trying to catch a breather. His cross is on his tail. This is what makes Karrion Cross so dangerous. When his opponent is already hurt, Cross will continue to inflict punishment until he deems it's time to wrap up the occasion. Cross enjoys this type of fight. Sheamus, however, loves a fight himself. The brawling brute himself, but unfortunately for him, he is not in the winning ways right now. And oh no, wait a minute, Karrion Cross looking for that straight jacket submission hold. And Sheamus once again saved by the ropes. Sheamus has had some misfortune with Scarlett taking his eye off the ball throughout this match, but he's also had some luck on the other end of the coin. Being close to the ropes, but his back was up against the wall. And now Sheamus starting to roll. There goes Karrion Cross out of the canvas. Maybe that rope break moments ago was all Sheamus needed to get the cog back on the wheel. And wait a minute now, a second white noise in the middle of the Ford Center. And Sheamus not done just yet. The Celtic Warrior with a second bro kick for good measures. And there's nothing Scarlett can do. Karrion Cross's lights just got turned off. A barn burner to kick things off between the Harbinger of Doom, Karrion Cross, and the Celtic Warrior, Sheamus. But in the end, there could only be one victor, and it's Sheamus who is riding the momentum in New Armageddon this Sunday night, where he will compete inside Hell in a Cell for the WWE title. Here is your winner, the Celtic Warrior, Sheamus. Karrion Cross is gonna have to get himself up and dust himself off, live to fight another day, meaning this Sunday night. But Sheamus, momentum on his side. Are we looking at the next WWE Champion? On Sunday night, December the 10th, the end is here. It's the final live premiere event of 2023 as the Warriors of Monday Night Raw and Friday Night Smackdown descend upon Detroit, Michigan for Armageddon. What will this unholy evening have in store as the toughest competitors look to make their final mark of 2023, December the 10th at Armageddon. We are back live at a sold out Ford Center, Evansville, Indiana. The Queen of Hearts, Natalia, set to go one on one with the number one contender for the WWE Women's Championship this Sunday. And from Glasgow, Scotland, Alba Fire! We want to take you back to two weeks ago on Raw. Alba Fire, the newcomer to the red brand, successful in her debut against Blair Davenport. However, interrupted was the celebration by the women's champion, the Eradicator, Rhea Ripley, who took to the ring to remind Alba Fire she may have been successful, but this is the division of the nightmare. And those events led to Alba Fire receiving the ultimate opportunity. Just a few weeks after her Raw debut, she will compete 
against the head honcho of the women's division, the Nightmare Rhea Ripley, this Sunday night at Armageddon for the WWE Women's Championship. Talk about coming on to the red brand hot as all hell. Alba Fire with a victory against Blair Davenport, accepting an open challenge from Davenport two weeks ago, and it has led to a championship opportunity against Rhea Ripley. And as great as Alba Fire looked in her debut, and I'm sure she is going to impress here tonight, win, lose, or draw, Rhea Ripley is a completely different animal. Before this matchup gets underway, ladies and gentlemen, we want to remind you that next Monday night, live here on Raw, is the 2023 Slammy Awards, and the voting is now open for the Slammy Awards. It'll be linked down below in the description as well as the comment section. Hit the like and be able to cast your vote for the Men's Superstar of the Year, the Women's Superstar of the Year, Match of the Year, and so much more. The winners will be revealed live next Monday night on a Slammy Award edition of Monday Night Raw. Here we go with this women's division contest. Natalia back in action. Alba fire. Really, I would say, needs to build some more momentum towards Armageddon. As we were getting at moments ago, Rhea Ripley, a completely different animal. One of the women who was up for Superstar of the Year for the women's division in the Slammy Awards. Won money in the bank back in July. Cashed it in in September to win the WWE Women's Championship. It has been quite some time since we've seen Rhea Ripley's shoulders pinned to the mat. And that is for good reason. Rhea has dominated WWE, Monday Night Raw, Women's Division. Successful not once, but twice over a future Hall of Famer and the man, Becky Lynch. Of course, just a few weeks ago, Madison Square Garden Survivor Series, Rhea Ripley retaining her title in the Extreme Rules match against the man. And Rhea chose to get in the face of the newcomer, Alba Fire, reminding her that you may have had a successful debut. Welcome to the division, but this is my division. And of course, Alba Fire, Rhea face to face. Well, that lighted some interest in management. They said, why don't we have at it? One on one at Armageddon. And this is an interesting matchup tonight because Alba Fire still hot on the new brand, brand new here to Monday Night Raw. Looking to build some momentum, and especially with Rhea Ripley in her foresight this Sunday. But meanwhile, you got Natalia in here, a veteran of the ring, somebody who has had run ins with Rhea Ripley earlier this year who remembers the Canadian street fight back in May between those two women. So Natalia looks at this matchup as a way to climb the ranks in the division as well, defeat the number one contender, and be waiting in the win for whoever leaves Detroit this Sunday as the WWE Women's Champion. All remains to be seen what's going to happen Sunday night. Again, we will be live, 5 p.m. Eastern time. Little Caesars Arena, Detroit, Michigan. You're not going to want to miss it. It's the final live premiere event of 2023, and I assure you we are going out with a bang. Armageddon is going to be a night to remember. Meanwhile, Alba Fire scaling the ropes and looking for that oh-so-impressive swanton bomb that awarded her victory two weeks ago against Blair Davenport, and it does it again against Natalia. Momentum's on the side of the red-hot Alba Fire. Former NXT UK Women's Champion, former NXT Women's Tag Team Champion. Will she be adding another piece of accolade to her list this weekend? Here is your winner, Alba Fire! I'm sure Rhea Ripley had her eyes on this matchup as she did two weeks ago. Obviously impressed with Alba Fire. The come this Sunday, it is go big or go home. Rhea Ripley. Looking to remind everybody once more that this is her division. Alba Fire looking to show the world that she is here to stay on Monday Night Raw. Titles on the line this Sunday night at Armageddon. It is coming your way next Monday night on Raw, the 2023 Slammy Awards. And the voting is open right now, but it closes this Friday. Have your voice heard for the Men's Superstar of the Year, Women's Superstar of the Year, Match of the Year, Tag Team of the Year, and so much more. Voting down below. Winners revealed next Monday night on Monday Night Raw. But there's still a lot more action right here tonight at Evansville, Indiana. The big strong boy, Tyler Bate, set to come down the aisle. The following is scheduled for one fall, making his way to the ring from Dudley, England, weighing in at 175 pounds, Tyler Bates. Well, Tyler Bates set to go one-on-one -on -one with the 
king of strong style, Shinsuke Nakamura. A matchup that should be very interesting in regards to the rankings here on Monday Night Raw. Of course, Tyler Bates, Shinsuke Nakamura, two men who have had their eye on championships throughout 2023 here on the red brand, unfortunately have not been able to capitalize on them. Tonight, no issues between these two men, but set to be pinned one-on-one -on -one together, and I'm sure it's going to be a great wrestling matchup. Both men are going to climb the proverbial ranks here on the red brand and possibly earn themselves some future championship opportunities. Just a few months ago, Tyler Bate was challenging for the Intercontinental Championship. Bate almost had an opportunity to challenge for the WWE title at Survivor Series. Unfortunately, came up short against Seth Rollins, but Bate back to the drawing board tonight. Fresh focus, full head of steam. Let's see what the big strong boy can bring to the table. And the same can be said of the king of strong style, Shinsuke Nakamura. Back in action tonight on Raw. Recently successful against Apollo Crews the last time we saw him on the red brand. Set to go one-on-one -on -one with Tyler Bate. Should be a great matchup live from the Ford Center here tonight on Raw. And his opponent from Kyoto, Japan, weighing in at 220 pounds, Shinsuke Nakamura. And we're talking about the championships here on Raw as these two men enter the squared circle. Of course, this Sunday night, Armageddon, as we've mentioned multiple times throughout tonight, and we will continue to talk about the main event live from Little Caesars Arena, Detroit, Michigan. Talk about a way to go out with a bang in 2023. Six Raw superstars, one ring, one hell in a cell structure, every man vying for the historic, prestigious WWE Championship. Solo Sokoa, Karrion Cross, Sheamus, Kevin Owens, Tommaso Ciampa, Seth freaking Rollins. It is going to be a banger this Sunday night in Detroit. What about some of the other action coming your way, courtesy of Monday Night Raw? This Sunday live at Armageddon, the Intercontinental Championship going to be on the line. L.A. Knight defending his gold against Cameron Grimes, who has recently been making some waves here on Monday Night Raw. Upset L.A. Knight a couple of weeks ago. Victorious against Apollo Crews last week. Now Grimes gets the big opportunity this Sunday. Meanwhile, focusing on the action inside of the ring, Tyler Bate kicking things off with a little airplane spin to shake the marbles of Shinsuke Nakamura. Around and around, Nakamura goes, and Tyler Bate may have taken himself out that time early on, and now going for the quick pinfall here. Going to take more to keep down Shinsuke Nakamura, but got to commend Tyler Bates' effort looking to throw his opponent off the game plan. Trying to pick up that big time victory here tonight. Tyler Bate wins not one but two pinfall victories over the WWE Champion Seth freaking Rollins. Unfortunately, the third matchup last month leading up to Survivor Series did not go Tyler Bates' way. A matchup that could have propelled him to a championship match in Madison Square Garden. But as we mentioned, Tyler Bate came up short in a great effort on that night. Now Bate going back to the drawing board here on Monday Night Raw. He's got his hands full with Shinsuke Nakamura. Nakamura's had himself some run-ins with LA Knight dating back to the spring here on Monday Night Raw. Two men that traded victories, even met in the King of the Ring tournament back in the early summer. Nakamura, I'm sure, would love to run it back with LA Knight, possibly for the Intercontinental Championship. Tyler Bate with the same plan. So what makes matches like this so interesting? Two men at the drawing board, just looking to climb the ranks on Monday Night Raw. No personal vendettas, no grudges. Certainly almost refreshing to see here on Monday Night Raw when there's been such chaos and anarchy as of late. I'm sure of great respect between these two men. Just gonna have themselves a good old fashioned professional wrestling match inside the confines of the ropes. Let the better man win and the better man will move on here on Monday Night Raw. Get back and forth so far, even though I think Tyler Bay is controlled. A little bit more action, but there's Nakamura with some strikes. The king of strong style. So versatile with his hands and his feet. And certainly knows how to throw down from bell to bell. Backstabber into the cover. And Tyler Bates still alive. Nakamura, I'm sure expected that. Sometimes with those early covers, it's not meant to get the pinfall necessarily, but it's meant to do one of two things. Let your opponent... Had to put out a little bit extra energy in that kick out. 
Make them just a little bit more tired throughout the matchup, and of course getting into the psyche, reminding your opponent that you can defeat them at any and all times. Possibly throw your opponent off their game plan as the matchup progresses. Shinsuke Nakamura off that knee off the middle buckle now. A black hole slam. You don't see those every day. Nice maneuver by Shinsuke. Now scaling the ropes once more. Tyler Bate finding himself with his back up against the wall. And here's Shinsuke Nakamura with another strike. Nakamura can throw those fists, throw the forearms, the elbows, the kicks, the knees from anywhere and everywhere. And we are seeing that first and foremost in this matchup. Not afraid to go to the mat either, especially against somebody just as versatile in Tyler Bate, who's got some strength, who's got some speed, some agility. Tyler Bate not afraid to take things down into a good old fashioned wrestling match on the mat. Very interesting contrast of styles, so similar, so different between Nakamura and Bate. And again, ladies and gentlemen, next Monday night, the Slammy Award edition of Monday Night Raw. You can still have time to cast your vote for the Men's Superstar of the Year, Women's Superstar of the Year, Tag Team Match of the Year, Premium Live Event of the Year. Multiple other categories as well. Go vote down below in the description in the comments section. You will find the link there, and the winners will be revealed next Monday night. Of course, the polls will close Friday. We'll see who is going to come out as the award winners next Monday night. And a Slammy Award edition of Raw as Tyler Bate starting to pick up steam here, knocking Nakamura down, and Bate starting him out of comeback. Nakamura is controlling the pace of this contest for a few minutes. Now Tyler Bate trying to get back into this contest, trying to throw Nakamura off his game plan. And here's that strength of the big strong boy. Nice suplex, simple yet effective inside the squared circle. Now picking the ankles. Tyler Bate going for that reverse Boston that has brought him so much success, not just throughout his career, but specifically his run on Monday Night Raw in 2023. Nakamura's close to the ropes, but the pain may be too much. He might have to give up here. Award Tyler the victory. I'm able to pick the ankle. Nice counter by Nakamura that time. He goes right for the strikes and a mean knee. Just to back Tyler Bate up momentarily. Reversal there. Back and forth, the potential of momentum starts to swing. And Tyler going for that Tyler power bomb. Double arm hook. Nakamura nowhere to go. Unfortunately, the ropes not in favor of Tyler Bate that time. Now Nakamura, here we freaking go in this match. Death Valley driver into the cover. And Bate kicks out. What a matchup we got between the big strong boy and the king of strong style. Crazy exchange moment to go. Tyler Bate, who has won so many matches with that double underhook power bomb. I'm sure it would have had Shinsuke Nakamura had the hand or foot, not sure which one it was, underneath the ropes. And then Nakamura getting right to his feet. Reversal, Death Valley driver, Tyler Bate kicks out, but obviously both men feeling the damage. The matchup progresses nonetheless, and Nakamura has found himself back in control. He has controlled the majority of this matchup so far. Just some spurts here and there out of the big strong boy, but really hasn't been able to get a stranglehold on that momentum throughout this match. And Shinsuke, wheels are spinning. Could be looking for a little bit of good vibrations in the corner. Nakamura is feeling it tonight. Sold out Ford Center, Evansville, Indiana, the final Monday Night Raw before Armageddon this Sunday. And Shinsuke Nakamura could have been going for the King's Chassa. Tyler Bate dodged. German suplex dropping Nakamura on the crown of his head. Big time reversal there. Completely changing the tides of this match. And here comes Tyler with a toe pace to Asita for the ropes. The counter leads to success. And now Tyler Bate brings the fight to the outside. Great reversal of the King's Chassa. Tyler found himself in a precarious situation, was able to get out of it. German suplex, Tope Suicida, and now throwing a couple lefts and rights. And Tyler gonna take this fight back inside the squared circle. Nakamura on his tail, however. Tyler's gotta take control. Wait a minute, counter, another reversal. Back and forth, and Nakamura kicks the feet out from under him. And Tyler Bate 
Showing signs of life, but just not able to get control. Not able to stack that offense that is oh so important in matchups like this. Another reversal there. Now Nakamura. This is vintage Shinsuke putting his opponent in a position of failure. And that German off the ropes. And Tyler Bate now just has to use said ropes just to scale to his feet. And there's a counter and Shinsuke gets set over the top rope. Man, what a great contest tonight between two men just hungry for success here on Monday Night Raw and a big time suplex by Tyler Bate. Over a head throw spells disaster for Shinsuke Nakamura. Now Bate gonna bring this fight back inside the ring where he can get the victory that he oh so desires. And he's heading to the top. He could be looking for that vintage tilt to whirl. Corkscrew, there he goes, nobody home. Crash and burn, and a Kinshasa by Shinsuke Nakamura. And that'll do it. Great matchup tonight by Tyler Bate and Shinsuke, but unfortunately, one disaster too many for Tyler Bate. The crash and burn off the corkscrew, and Nakamura took advantage with a very excitingly delivered King Shasa right to the jaw of the big, strong boy. Here is your winner, Shinsuke Nakamura. Tyler Bate will live to fight another day. He's got a bright future here on Monday Night Raw, no doubt about it. But tonight belongs to the king of strong style. Shinsuke Nakamura, who gets another victory in this climb back to championship contention here on Monday Night Raw. Well, next Monday night, it is the Slammy Award edition of Raw. And once again, the voting closes this Friday night. Get your voting in as the polls are coming to an end. Have your voice heard. Winners revealed next Monday on Raw. And already signed for the Slammy Award edition. This is breaking news, ladies and gentlemen. Shinsuke Nakamura has earned himself an opportunity at the Intercontinental Championship. And he will challenge the winner of this Sunday's LA Knight and Cameron Grimes meeting at Armageddon. Intercontinental title on the line next Monday night on Raw. And for what I understand, there's going to be a massive debut next week on Raw as well. NXT's Joe Gacy coming to Monday Night Raw. This man is dangerous. This man is sadistic. And he is apparently joining the Monday Night Raw brand. We're going to see him in action next week on the Slammy Award edition of the Red Brand. But of course, we have been talking about it all night long. It is the final live premiere event of 2023. Armageddon and it is live this Sunday Little Caesars Arena Detroit Michigan 5 p.m. Eastern time and officially signed on behalf of Friday Night Smackdown the Cruiserweight Championship will be defended Ilya Dragunov the Mad Dragon himself defends the gold against Nathan Frazier one of the hottest newcomers to Friday Night Smackdown and speaking of the blue brand, the Women's World Championship that was decided for the first time in Survivor Series is up for grabs. The Queen of Spades, Shayna Baszler, runs it back with the EST, Bianca Belair, and the stakes couldn't be any higher this Sunday in Detroit. And speaking of the women's division, on Monday Night Raw this time around, we saw her in action earlier tonight. The newcomer, Alba Fire, already going for the top of the food chain when she meets the Eradicator, Rhea Ripley, for the WWE Women's Championship. As we just found out, the winner of this matchup will go on to defend the title against Shinsuke Nakamura next week on Raw. But who will leave Detroit as the Intercontinental Champion? Will it be the defiant LA Knight? Or will it be the man who scored an upset over him several weeks ago? Cameron Grimes! From Friday Night SmackDown, the United States Championship was officially assigned this past weekend, and AJ Styles is going to have his hands full with the greatest mask of all time. The Hall of Famer, Rey Mysterio, gets a golden opportunity this Sunday. The high-profile matches of Armageddon sees these two teams meet up once more to conclude what has been one of the greatest rivalries of 2023. Tornado Tag Rules, Brutes, Judgment Day, World Tag Team Title Matchup. 
The main event on behalf of SmackDown features the World Championship on hand, and it will be the last chance for the Rated R Superstar Edge to play in the gold he has chased after all year long. He meets the ring general, Gunther, this Sunday night at Armageddon. And it is a Hell in the Cell matchup for the WWE Championship. Solo Sokoa, Karrion Cross, Kevin Owens, Sheamus, Tommaso Ciampa, Seth freaking Rollins. Let the chaos and disorder play out inside the most demonic structure ever created, Hell in a Cell. It's all coming your way live this Sunday night at 5 p.m. Eastern Time, the final live premiere event of 2023, Armageddon! But as for tonight, it is Monday Night Raw, and it is main event time. The following contest is a tag team match set for one fall. On the way to the ring, at a combined weight of 478 pounds, Sami Zayn and Kevin Owens. Let us take you back to last month on Monday Night Raw when Sol Sokoa was infuriated at Kevin Owens eliminating him from the Deadly Games Eliminator. He took out his frustration on not only Kevin Owens, but his best friend, Sami Zayn, as well. This is the first Raw of November. Solo Sokoa ambushed Sami Zayn in the backstage area. Cameras rapidly cut to catch up with the action. Sami Zayn has been on the shelf since, looking for some retribution in the midst of this tag team main event here tonight. And their opponents, first from Las Vegas, Nevada, weighing in at 250 pounds, Solo and Solo Sokoa has certainly been the man creating his own hit list on Raw as of late, whether it's Kevin Owens, Sami Zayn. Remember back in late October when he put the almighty Bobby Lashley on the shelf, taking away Lashley's opportunity to challenge for the WWE Championship at Survivor Series. Solo Sokoa has been on a war path. And one of the men who is up for the breakout superstar of the year in the Slammy Award, Sol Sokoa certainly arriving on the scene on Monday Night Raw in 2023 and completely changing the landscape. Solo more dangerous than ever. When you trap him inside Hell in the Cell this Sunday, I don't know what to expect. And here comes the visionary. The WWE Champion, Seth freaking Rollins, who has the odds stacked against him more than ever before. One champion, five challengers, one pinfall to a finish. Inside hell in a cell this Sunday, Seth Rollins better be saying his prayers and hoping for the absolute best. From Davenport, Iowa, weighing in at 217 pounds. The WWE Champion, Seth Freakin' Rollins! We talked about Sol Sokoa, Seth Rollins up for a Slammy Award as well. You could be looking at the Men's Superstar of the Year. All up to you, you the fans. Polls still open, polls close this Friday. Winners revealed next Monday night in the Slammy Award edition of Raw. Seth Rollins walked into 2023 as the World Heavyweight Champion on SmackDown. When he was sent to Monday Night Raw, he immediately made an impact, winning Money in the Bank back in July, cashing it in successfully the following month at SummerSlam, and has had the WWE title around his waist ever since. But will it all come to an end? Will it be Armageddon? Will it be the final night for Rollins' championship reign this Sunday in Detroit? All remains to be seen. Main event time. Here we go. Sami Zayn kicking things off with Solo Sokoa. And I'm sure Zayn very much anticipating this equation tonight. Solo again. The issues were with Kevin Owens. But the street champ was not afraid to get the blood on his hands. Ambush Sami Zayn in the backstage area. In the first roll of November, as you just saw moments ago, just as a way to stick it to Kevin Owens. Owens, of course, eliminated Solo in the traditional Survivor Series matchup back at the Garden in the last week on Raw. Barn burner of a main event between the street champ and Kevin Owens, but ultimately Owens was able to get the victory on Solo Sokoa. Business is certainly, wait a minute, been picking up on Monday Night Raw, and Kevin Owens 
taking Soul to the outside. The KO and Sammy show all over the street champ thus far. Solo's got no answer for this early fury of Sami Zayn, who again has been eagerly anticipating this matchup tonight. I'm sure Seth Rollins feels some type of way about having a team with one of his challengers for Sunday night. And they better be able to coexist, because if those two men come up short, momentum is not going to be on the side of Solo Sokoa and the WWE Champion. Sami Zayn taking the fight to said champion. Rollins getting the tag. Not looking so hot thus far. There's a tag made to Kevin Owens, and now we got Rollins and Owens in here. One on one in the midst of this tag team matchup. Owens and Zayn are looking good, and they are steamrolling over the opponents right now. They've spoken too soon. Take nothing away from the WWE Champion, Seth freaking Rollins. He's had his back against the wall several times throughout his championship reign, but by hook or by crook, has found a way to win. Talked about at the top of the hour, defeating Sheamus not once but twice throughout the fall, and then just a few weeks ago at Survivor Series, keeping down the fire of the Blackheart Tommaso Ciampa, who will return to action this Sunday at Armageddon. Rollins turned the tides in this matchup back to Solo Sokoa and Kevin Owens and Solo. No problem picking up right where they left off last week on Raw. Hell of a main event. If you did, did not miss it, or I should say if you missed it, the replay available right now. Kevin Owens, dare I say, barely surviving Solo Sokoa. It's a great matchup. Kevin Owens getting the victory. Now back in action tonight on Raw. Another tag made to Sami Zayn. I want to thank you for joining us on Monday Night Raw thus far, ladies and gentlemen. The Ford Center, Evansville, Indiana. Just six nights for the final live premiere event of 2023, Armageddon. Eight championships to be decided, all culminating with a Hell in a Cell main event. What about SmackDown's main event? Gunther Edge, one-on-one -on -one for the first time ever for the World Heavyweight Championship. And what will be Edge's last chance to obtain the World Championship? Challenged Drew McIntyre several times this year throughout his reign. Came up short. Edge called out Guther. Guther said, I'll give you one more match, but you ain't going to get multiple opportunities like you did the first time around. This is going to be your one and only shot, your last shot. Beat me, win the world title, lose, and go home. Very highly anticipated, high stakes, high reward main event for SmackDown this Sunday night, as it's going to be for the entire card. What about what we got coming your way already for Monday Night Raw next week? Slammy Award Edition. Debut of one of NXT's most sadistic superstars on their roster. Joe Gacy officially coming to Monday Night Raw. Also Shinsuke Nakamura earning himself an Intercontinental Championship matchup. We'll meet the winner of LA Knight and Cameron Grimes this Sunday. Nonetheless, Solo Sokoa trying to break Sami Zayn in half. Off that Samoan splash. He's got victories in the past with that maneuver. Unfortunately, does not see the same result so far in this matchup. Damage certainly done, however. Solo and Seth Rollins have put their differences aside. Solo Sokoa is certainly a man who's got no friends in that locker room. Going to have to coexist tonight with the champion. A man I'm sure he would love to destroy and take a stranglehold on his gold. Nonetheless, the quick tags by Solo and Rollins and Sami Zayn in much need of a tag himself. And once again, Kevin Owens looking to come out hot. Almost got caught with a Samoan spike. However, Kevin Owens avoids it. Has been in that situation in recent history and has found a way to avoid disaster by the street champ. Kevin Owens and Solo Sokoa, an issue that's been brewing week after week, really came to a head last week, but the story continues to be written on the road to Armageddon. Owens going for a kick, Solo avoids it, and these two men throwing live rounds, two heavyweights going head full head of steam. Owens able to kick out, and you know, Kevin Owens, third M Monday Night Raw main event in a row. Three on one comeback at Survivor Series three weeks ago as well. You gotta wonder if the prize fighter himself is feeling 100%, but we know one thing about Owens, he is gonna keep fighting till the very end. Especially with Armageddon this Sunday as Rollins takes things to the sky, laying out Kevin Owens at ringside. And the visionary could have been looking for a pedigree of some sorts. If anything, at ringside, Kevin Owens luckily able to avoid it. 
Whoever the champion had in mind, I'm sure it would have been disaster for one of his challengers inside Hell in the Cell. However, counter, counter for counter. Another super kick by Rollins. Hit one earlier on the prize fighter, making a dose that time. Kevin Owens trying to crawl to his corner, get the tag to Sami Zayn. However, Seth Rollins having none of it. Now again, a tag to Solo Sokoa. You know, Rollins has really signed Solo off for the majority of this matchup thus far. I wonder if that's a little bit of mind games that were played in the strategy session between Solo and Rollins. And Rollins found himself a way to hang on the apron as much as possible. Trying to save his energy for Armageddon this Sunday in an attempt to retain his title. All remains to be seen as Solo gets taken to the outside by hands of Kevin Owens. And meanwhile, Owens with Seth Rollins in his sights and knocks the champion, sending him for a fall. Solo back into the ring. Kevin Owens throwing lefts and rights and a kick to the rib cage. Owens may be down and out, but even when you got him down, he is never out to the very end. We saw the 3-1 comeback, one of the best moments of 2023 at Survivor Series. He's able to pin Solo, pin Damian Priest, pin Karrion Cross. Can he do it again tonight? Solo Sokoa rolling to the outside, trying to create some distance. However, Kevin Owens on his tail. Back and forth, these heavyweights continue to go. Nobody home off the splash in the corner. Evansville, Indiana, firmly behind. Kevin Owens right now on the shoulders. Neck breaker to the street champ. And a cover by KO. Will that do it? Rollins not even going to allow a one. Kevin Owens inflicting some punishment on the champion of the apron and one of the challengers for Sunday. However, Solo and Seth still into this matchup. Kick to the gut. Enziguri that time. Solo Sokoa is down. Kevin Owens has not been able to see a conclusion thus far, however. Set into the KO and Sami show corner. What do these two men got in mind? Little tag team maneuver there. Oh, man! Somebody at the tables! A little 3D variation by KO and Sammy. What a maneuver. What a duo. What a showcase in this matchup by Sammy and KO thus far. Solo and Seth able to survive, but for how much longer? Oh, that might have just woke up Solo Sokoa. He's trying to unload on Sammy. Sammy says otherwise. Blue Thunder Bomb! Victory incoming, but again, Seth saves the match. And Rollins sending Kevin Owens to the outside. And Sami Zayn dropping Rollins on the back of his neck. And never turn your back on a wild Samoan like Solo Sokoa, who mounts Sami Zayn on his shoulders. Zayn with a reversal. Going for the roll-up victory here. Will that do it? And a two count, but Kevin Owens, or excuse me, Seth Rollins, once again, saves the day. The numbers game, prolonging this tag team matchup. However, Sami Zayn taking things to the air with a tope suicida on the man who cost some weeks of action here on Monday Night Raw. And Sami sending Solo back inside the squared circle. Red hot. Is Sammy off his return matchup tonight? But will it lead to victory? Momentum for Kevin Owens. Revenge for Sami Zayn. That is what hangs in the balance for the KO and Sami show. Solo in the corner. And Sami Zayn! Haluba kick! Into the cover and Seth Rollins again. Not even going to allow a one count. They are going to have to eliminate Rollins from this matchup or vice versa to get the three. And that time, Sammy does just that. And a tag made to Kevin Owens. Solo may be up, but is he aware? Stutter! A halluva kick. A stutter by Kevin Owens. And that's enough for victory tonight. Well, I got to say, Seth Rollins really put Solo Sokoa in the line of disaster tonight. Avoided action at all costs. Solo wrestling the majority of this matchup. A halluva kick by Sammy. A stunner by Kevin Owens. Blue Thunderbomb as well. All of that offense stacking up and leading to a big time victory here tonight on Raw. Here are your winners, Kevin Owens and Sammy Zayn.
Revenge for Sami Zayn. Momentum for Kevin Owens. Owens red hot going into Armageddon. This Sunday night, six men, one ring, one winner, one WWE Championship. It is hell in the cell to finally see a conclusion to all the chaos and disorder of Monday Night Raw. Thank you for joining us here tonight at Evansville. We'll see you this Sunday live in Detroit, Michigan. On when I chase like that, yeah, I play so strong with a knife in the back. I'm a swing home run like a baseball bat. Gonna see me rise if you hate on that. I don't play both sides, don't need no cap. I'm a ride.